Hello friends! The python industry is booming in China, providing a huge source of income for farmers and boosting the local economy. More than 2 million Chinese households are involved in python farming, generating a whopping 14.8 acres of python skins per year. Are you curious about how people here generate income from processing python leather? Join me to learn about the livestock raising process on farms in the video below. Today, I will take you to a farm in China and hear the story of a herder here. You will be very surprised to hear this farmer's story. In an Bin village, Guangdong province, China, farmer Truong Futs' life has completely changed thanks to the python business. Previously, Truong Fu's family was very difficult. He said that a man introduced himself as an expert in python farming and shared success stories about python farming models in other localities. With the capital he saved, Truong Fu bought a few python breeds and started building a simple barn. His wife also helped, learning all the knowledge about how to care for, feed and prevent diseases for pythons. At first he encountered many difficulties but he persevered with animal husbandry. Do you think he will be successful in starting a python breeding business? Please leave number one if you believe Truong Fuk will expand its business model. Truong Fuk is python farming model attracted the attention of many people in the village. They come to learn from experience and gradually convert to this new livestock model. Thanks to that, and Bin Village became a famous python farming village throughout the region, contributing to promoting local economic development and improving people's lives. Truong Fuchs python farming has helped change the lives of people living in this area. Before feeding pythons, people will check the pythons' health, ensuring that they are eligible to eat. After that, the food will be carefully prepared, the food will be cut into pieces small enough for the python to swallow easily. Python is only a few days old and people will feed it two to three times a day, using food that is soft and easy to digest. As the python matures, the amount of food will be increased and the feeding frequency reduced to one to two times per week. At this time, the python's main food is large poultry such as chickens, ducks, and geese. This large amount of poultry food provides enough nutrition for pythons for about 10 to 15 days. After that, the python will enter a fasting period, helping the digestive system to rest and recover. During this time, people will minimize contact with pythons to avoid scaring them. You should know that this feeding process must be carefully attended to, as it will affect the quality of your python skin. During the process of harvesting python's eggs, Truong Fuk needs to approach them carefully and gently so as not to damage the eggs. They usually enter the reproductive period after about 4 to 5 years of age, and the breeding season usually takes place in spring and summer. Python eggs are as big as goose eggs and have very thin shells. Python eggshells are very thin, only about 0.02 inches thick, which makes them easy to break if not handled carefully. Truong Fuk often examines python eggs with a specialized flashlight to check their properties and health. This helps him detect early signs of bacteria, fungus, or any other problem that could affect the development of the egg or the health of the newly hatched python. If left at temperatures above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, eggs may spoil. Have you ever thought of python eggs as goose eggs? If so, please comment below.
The process of processing python meat for skin in China is often done using manual methods different from processing factories in the US. An important part of this procedure is to stun the python with CO2 gas, ensuring no pain for the python. Then the head of the python is removed to facilitate cleaning of the internal parts. Normally one might think that they would separate the skin from the lower body to remove the internal organs. However, the procedure usually begins with injecting water into their bodies, which helps to inflate their bodies, facilitating the separation of the skin. This process is very important because without injecting water into the body, removing the skin becomes much more difficult because the fat cannot be effectively separated from the skin. What do you think about the Chinese people wanting to keep the traditional method? Chinese people have developed a unique python leather coloring process, creating leathers with higher economic value on the market. To create the characteristic color of python skin, Chinese people often use natural materials such as herbs. These are often the most popular on the market today. Uniquely colored python leather artworks are not only a symbol of luxury and class but also express individuality. Therefore, they often have a higher economic value than python skins of other colors. Do you understand the value of a branded handbag you carry with you? They are more than just an ordinary piece of jewelry if you understand its importance. Next, I will introduce to you a product. Konevis brand python leather handbag PW03 is a symbol of luxury and class. I made from pure colored python leather. These handbags are not only a quality product but also a symbol of respect for nature and meticulousness in the processing process. In the Chinese market, Konevis python leather handbags are highly appreciated for their quality and value by their owners. Owning a Konevis python leather handbag is not only owning a luxurious fashion item but also a way to express personal style and sophisticated taste. Therefore, owning a Konevis python leather handbag is not only a purchase but also an investment in a part of yourself, showing class and class in the eyes of everyone. How can you identify a pair of genuine python leather shoes and a pair of fake python leather shoes which can be done through some of the following methods? First of all, the price of a pair of genuine python leather shoes usually ranges from 500 to 2000 USD, depending on the brand, material and design of the product. Genuine shoes often come with a certificate confirming the origin and quality of the product. However, if you do not have expert knowledge about the product, you can recognize a pair of genuine python leather shoes with the naked eye. Genuine python leather usually has high gloss and softness, along with smooth and natural grain characteristics. If you are not confident in identification, you should go to reputable stores and proven brands to buy the product. I advise you that if you do not want property damage, you should choose products from famous brands in the area where you live. Comment number one, if you want to see more information on how to check the quality of products made from genuine python leather. Comment zero if you want to process python leather using modern technology. Thank you for watching the entire video. Click the channel subscription button to watch the latest processing processes. With approximately 1.4 billion sheep raised worldwide by 2022, sheep farming has become an important industry in many countries. To achieve a balance between health and productivity, 
farmers and ranchers must implement special procedures and measures. In particular, ensuring the sheep's diet is a very important point. They need to be provided with adequate nutrients, especially protein, to ensure healthy development and weight gain. Grass, grain, and fresh forage are important food sources for sheep, and scientific management of fields and diets is what determines the growth of the flock. While feed is an important part of sheep care, it is only one piece of the overall equation. During the especially dry season, when water resources are scarce, water becomes an equally precious resource. Maintaining an effective water supply system is essential to protect the health of sheep flocks. In addition, the sheep pen system plays an important role in protecting sheep from the effects of adverse weather. This is where sheep can seek shelter on rainy days or cold nights. A safe and warm sheep cage environment helps them grow stronger while also protecting them from harmful natural elements. Taking care of sheep pens and ensuring they are large enough for the sheep to comfortably stand up and lie down also plays an important role in maintaining the health and growth of the flock. With just a suitable barn environment, you have contributed greatly to the growth and development of your flock. To ensure the health of the flock, vaccination and regular health checks are a must. Not only does this help detect and prevent diseases and epidemics that can affect sheep but it also ensures the safety of a valuable food source. Caring for the health of sheep isn't only the responsibility of the breeder, but also plays an important role in ensuring the health and productivity of these animals. Carrying out routine vaccinations can reduce the risk of infectious diseases, outbreaks in sheep flocks, and protect their health. This is especially important when you're raising sheep for commercial purposes, because any disease can cause large losses in meat, milk, or wool production. In addition, regular health checks also help detect health problems early and the sheep herd and apply timely treatment. This ensures that diseases do not have a chance to spread and affect the productivity and health of the herd. But not only for current benefits, maintaining the health of sheep flocks is also related to protecting the stability and sustainability of the sheep farming industry in the future.
This special care helps ensure that meat, milk, and wool supplies meet consumer demand and contribute to the growth of the global livestock industry. Sheep fertility control isn't only about creating strong new sheeps, but also about protecting the quality of the sheep in the future. Careful breeding procedures help ensure that only the healthiest and the best sheep are fertilized and bred. This is not only a current benefit, but also a commitment to the sustainability of the sheep farming industry. With carefully selected breeding sheep, you can improve not only productivity, but also the quality of the future sheep products, while helping to preserve and develop the sheep species in a sustainable way. By carefully managing and caring for their flocks, farmers and ranchers not only ensure that they have high-quality sheep food and products, but also contributes to the development of the industry, agriculture, and environmental protection. When the sheep's reaches the required weight, they will be sent for export. Before any journey, checking the sheep's health is a top priority. This ensures that they are healthy and free of any infectious diseases that could spread during transport. At the same time, adequate vaccination is an important measure to protect the health of the sheep. Now they are being loaded into large transport vehicles. Each herd of sheep will be divided into areas outside the farm to wait for boarding. Each vehicle transporting sheep will have enough space for them to stand and have comfortable space all the way to the dock. After a long journey to the pier, they will be brought into the ship by vehicle transport. The shipping process usually begins with the sheep being placed in a permanent pens on the ship's deck. Here they are cared for by providing food and water periodically. This helps maintain health and comfort throughout the journey. The staff on board will regularly observe their condition so that they can promptly handle problems when they encounter them. This is quite a long journey, requiring the staff on the train to have many skills in supporting the sheep's health. What about transporting by planes? Would you believe that sheep are transported by planes? In some more remote countries, it is not possible to transport by boats, so plane transporting is necessary. When there are enough boxes, the plane will take off to take them to the new country. What do you think about this aircraft transport? Please comment below in the comment section to let us know.
Deciding on the black pig breed to start a breeding project is an important part of ensuring your success. It is important that you choose a black pig breed that is sustainable and suitable for the specific climate and soil conditions of your locality. This will help ensure that the pigs will adapt well to the environment and achieve their best performance. Some popular options you should consider when learning about black pig breeds includes the Andalusian black pig, Daruk black pig, and Iberico black pig. Each breed has its own characteristics and learning carefully about each breed will help you make a smart choice. Iberico black pigs, a native black pig breed of Spain, are famous for their ability to accumulate good fat, creating a characteristic flavor for pork. If you are interested in unique and premium pork production, this breed may be the top choice. Now let's see how this black pig breed is raised. The barn isn't only where acorn eating black pigs will live, but is also an important factor in their development and health. When building a barn, you need to carefully consider the location. Make sure it is placed in a high, dry location to avoid flooding during stormy weather. The barn also needs to be designed to have enough natural light and wind, creating a cool and reasonable environment for black pigs. Besides creating good living conditions, the main food of black pigs is eating acorn, also plays an important role in the breeding process. Acorns are a source of food rich in nutrients, helping pigs grow healthily. However, to ensure nutritional balance, pigs also need to be provided with additional concentrates such as corn and rice barn. Dietary variety helps ensure that pigs receive the nutrients they need to grow and maintain good health. The number of pigs and output on the farm will depend on the scale and method of farming. Typically, an acorn eating black pig farm has a scale of several hundred to several thousand pigs. A black pig eating acorns can reach a weight of about 100 to 120 kilograms. According to reporters from the Spanish Ham Association in 2019, Spain produced about 2.3 million Iberico hams. However, in 2020, Due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and social distancing measures, production output decreased significantly. After being thoroughly prepared, removing the skin and removing the outer layer of fat, the pork leg will be chilled overnight to firm up the meat. 
Then, the Iberico Belota pork leg is marinated with Mediterranean sea salt. This salting process helps prevent the growth of harmful microorganisms on thigh meat. Normally, the thighs will be soaked in salt for two days. After salting the pork leg, it'll be washed but into the incubation room and hung to dry. Here, the thighs are controlled for quality and parameters, such as temperature and humidity. To be able to meet the transition in high meat, this process takes 60 to 100 days. After finishing the artificial drying process, the thighs will be brought into the room to dry naturally by allowing natural air into the room. Staff will control the airflow into the room by opening and closing windows to allow air to circulate evenly with their thighs. This helps the thighs to produce fungi that help metabolize the thighs in the next stage. Before moving on to the next step, the thighs are cleaned with sunflower oil and then put into the main stew. This process can take up to 8 months. Iberico ham processing plants in Spain are often concentrated in areas with the tradition of Iberico pig farming and meat processing, such as Extremadura, Salamanca, and Andalusia. Iberico pig farms are typically distributed throughout southeastern Spain, including the provinces of Huelva, Cordoba, and Badajoz and Seville. However, Iberico ham processing factories are usually not located on pig farms, but are often concentrated in industrial zones near Iberico pig production areas to facilitate transportation and meat processing. To ensure product quality, Iberico black pigs must be subjected to quality inspection and evaluation by Spanish government agencies before being allowed to produce products from Iberico black pigs. In addition to raising black pigs that eat acorns, an important part of the black pig industry in Spain is the export of specialty food products such as salted pork thighs, according to statistics from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United States FAO, and the European Free Trade Agency the EU. The countries that import the most Spanish salted pork thighs are usually Asian countries such as Japan, China, and Korea. These countries appreciate the value and the quality of salted pork products from Spain. This isn't only a delicious dish, but also shows respect for the unique cuisine of Spain. In addition to Spain and Asian countries, there are many other countries around the world that import Spanish salted pork thighs, including the US, Canada, Australia, European countries, and the Middle East region. There are all markets with developed culinary backgrounds and customers often set high prices 
for high-end food products such as Spanish salted pork thighs. Thanks to the meticulous care and raising of black pigs, as well as the traditional production process, Spain has earned a global reputation for cured hams and related food products. The development of this industry not only contributes to the national economy, but also promotes Spanish culinary culture on the world map. So the real question is, have you ever eaten this dish? Please comment below in the comment section to let us know. And for now, let's watch the next video. Heading out to sea, the crew prepares the fishing vessels according to the weather conditions and the location of the fishing grounds. Once the ships reach the designated area, they begin to navigate the waters in search of tuna. The fishing process continues until the fishermen have caught enough tuna to meet their demand or until they reach the allowable catch limit. Now visit a cane tuna factory. Normally, when tuna is caught offshore, it is completely frozen to preserve its freshness until it can be brought to processing facilities on land. In fact, frozen tuna is brought to the factory every morning to serve the production needs of the factory during the day. Once the frozen tuna arrives at the factory, it undergoes a careful cleaning process to remove any fishiness and impurities. The staff at the factory takes great care to ensure that the tuna is handled properly to maintain its quality and freshness. After the cleaning process, the fish cutting process begins. A small cutter is used to remove the head of the fish and divide the tuna into two parts. This cutting process requires precision to ensure that each piece of tuna is the correct size and shape for further processing. These pieces of fish meat are brought to the boil. They are dipped in a large bucket of boiling water until fully cooked. After the fish is cooked, the staff will move it to another processing area. The next step in the tuna processing journey involves filleting the tuna. The skilled workers at the factory remove the skin and bones from the tuna, leaving behind only the succulent and tender meat. These pieces of fish meat are moved along the chain to the meat grinding and packing area. Here, Fish meat is ground and packaged for distribution to supermarkets and other retailers around the world. Thousands of aluminum boxes are ready for packing. This line is an integration between meat and fish processing and caning. As soon as the fish meat is minced, they are put into aluminum canes in the correct proportions. The canes of tuna then go through a testing machine to ensure that the quality and volume of the products meet the set standards. Any unqualified products will be discarded to ensure that only high quality products are packaged and distributed. The next step involves adding the right amount of oil to each cane of tuna. This oil is used to enhance the flavor of the product and ensure that it remains fresh and delicious. Once the oil has been added, the canes are carefully sealed with lids to prevent bacteria or other contaminants from entering and damaging the product. After the canes of tuna have been sealed, they must be disinfected to kill any microorganism that may be present and ensure the safety of the product. The disinfection process typically involves placing the boxes of cane tuna in a sterilization chamber that uses high temperature and pressure to kill any microorganism that may be present. The sterilization process must be closely monitored by employees to ensure that it is done with a certain time limit and that there is no errors. 
Once the disinfection process is complete, the boxes of tuna are removed from the sterilization chamber and packed into paper boxes for distribution. The packaging process is typically done on a semi-automatic line, with machines programmed to perform the more complex steps and employees taking turns to perform the simpler support steps. After packing, these tuna canes are put into cold storage. Here, they are stored in a low temperature condition to preserve the freshness and nutritional contents of the product. Tuna is a nutritious food loved by many consumers. Cane tuna meat products provide a safe and essential source of nutrition. Modern line cane tuna factories are becoming more and more popular, offering delicious and healthy products that consumers around the world can enjoy. So how do you feel about this video? And do you think that in the future, a lot of machines are going to replace more humans? And how can we face that problem in the future? Uh, please share your comments down below as this is uh, going to be very, very important to know pretty much from almost everyone so that we can hear more opinions and uh, get introduced to more solutions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe for more videos like this. First, we have a new farm to introduce to you. This flock of sheep is starting to return to the farm after a day of grazing in the fields. You also see colored paint marks on the sheep's backs. This is a distant mark for the sheep on the farm. This is one of the methods to control the number of sheep when they get lost. As you can see, the farm's floor is designed to be non-slip for the sheep and is easy to be cleaned. Their waste will follow the holes in the floor to the bottom of the farm, where the waste is treated. The number of sheep in the herd will be checked and divided into each area on the farm to ensure they have enough space to move around and rest each partition will accommodate about 20 to 25 sheep. Now is the right time to feed them supplemental food. Their food will include nutritious grains and corn silage. Based on statistics, sheep in the U.S. consume about 6.5 million tons of food annually. The food mixture will do this as you can see. The people on this farm don't need to do anything. The application of machinery in livestock farming has been very popular, helping the farms earning billions of dollars. On any farm, the sheep farm's lighting and warning system helps the sheep live in a stable environment They will be given the best conditions during their development, giving them high productivity. This is an automatic drinking water supply system for sheep. They will drink just enough water at one time, as this will greatly help when it comes to cutting labor costs. Farmers in the U.S. regularly check the health status of their sheep performing routine vaccinations and deworming to ensure they maintain good health. Statistics show that more than 90% of sheep farms in the U.S. perform routine vaccinations to protect sheep from infectious diseases and harmful parasites. To create a comfortable environment, especially in summer, Many farms use fan cooling or misting systems in their modern sheep barns. Reproductive management is also done carefully. American farmers often use artificial breeding methods 
to ensure their desired reproduction. Artificial insemination has contributed to improving the quality of wild animals, and more than 60% of livestock farms in the United States have adopted this method. Around March to April, however, they will start giving birth. They will be supported by the farm owner. They will also drink breast milk and have their health checked within a few hours. The lambs will live with their mothers in a separate area of the farm. And taking care of the lambs goes beyond just health checks. American farmers regularly monitor the nutritional status and health of lambs, ensuring that they're receiving adequate feed and remaining healthy. Besides paying attention to nutrition, maintaining cleanliness and dryness in the barn also plays an important role in maintaining the resistance of the lambs. This ensures that their living environment is comfortable and does not cause any health problems. From caring for this flock of lambs, American farmers are taking care measures to ensure that the lambs are raised and grown in a healthy manner, gradually promoting the sustainable development of the livestock industry in this country. Finally, information technology plays an important role in sheep farm management in the United States. Farmers use information technology applications to monitor the health status, milk production, weight, and other important information of their flocks. These systems help them collect and process data accurately and quickly. From here, they can make management decisions based on accurate data and improve livestock performance. By using information technology, farmers can identify health problems in sheep flocks and implement timely interventions to protect the flock's health. They can also optimize diet and manage milk production more effectively, helping to ensure that the phlox is well nurtured and achieves peak production. Integrating information technology into sheep farm management is a prime example of how modern agriculture has used advances in technology to improve productivity, manage resources effectively, and ensure sustainability of the livestock industry in the United States. When sheep reach standard weight, they will be sent to processing plants. These processing plants have been linked to the farm owners. As the morning dawned, the sheep transport vehicles arrived at the farm. Each herd of sheep will be transported and loaded on the truck. They will be divided equally into the vehicle storage compartments. The storage compartments will ensure the sheep having the best and most comfortable space on the way to the factory. Once they arrive at the processing plant, they will be placed in areas awaiting processing. They will be provided with extra food and water here. These sheep are entering the processing area one by one. They will be anesthetized using a modern machine system.
After attaching the machine to the sheep's neck, the worker will start the system. Next, the sheep will be transferred to the next stage. After the sheep are processed in the first stage, they begin to hang on the hooks on the conveyor system. The worker at this stage will separate the sheep's skin from the body, from the legs and head. This machine will help collect sheep skin quickly. After the skin is separated, the worker will remove the internal organs from the sheep. They skillfully separate the internal organs from the sheep and put them in trays below to go to the next step. The automatic water spray system will wash the collected sheep's body. The sheep's body will be placed in a temperature of about 20 degrees to prevent bacterial growth. After the carcass temperature meets the requirements, the carcass will be taken out for processing and packaging. The sheep's body is divided into parts, which workers then divide into equal parts. Each piece of meat will be vacuum packaged and then transport it to the supermarkets. Have you ever eaten lambs before? Please comment below in the comment section to let everyone know. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one. Pigs farming in Europe is becoming an important part of the contemporary livestock industry and strict regulation plays an important role in ensuring its sustainable development. Let's dive deeper into the important aspects of how European farmers operate pig farms. The process of raising pig farms in Europe not only ensures the healthy development of pigs, but also takes care of their living environment. The regulations set requirements for the construction and design of big housing so that they provide comfortable living spaces and prevent the spread of diseases. This not only protects the health of the pigs, but also ensures that the surrounding environment is also maintained in good condition. Pig barns must always be clean and dry to ensure the healthy growth of pigs. Feeding is an important factor in the pig raising process in Europe. Pig feeding is often produced from local ingredients to minimize transportation costs and reduce energy consumption during feed production. Grains such as barley, corn, and soybeans are a mainstay of pig's diet, providing energy and fiber. The feed also contains concentrate, providing protein, fat, vitamins, and minerals necessary for pig growth. Additionally, supplementary feeds contain nutrients that pigs cannot synthesize on their own, such as amino acids and antioxidants. All of this ensures that pigs have a varied and balanced diet to grow strong and healthy. Vaccination is one of the most important measures in protecting the health of pigs. European farms often follow vaccination schedules specifically designed to prevent dangerous diseases. 
This includes using appropriate vaccines to protect pig from dangerous diseases such as swine fever, foot and mouth disease, and pasture losses. These vaccines help create immunity in pigs, helping them resist attacks by disease-causing bacteria and viruses. In addition to vaccination, regular dewaring also plays an important role in the pig health care process. The presence of parasitic worms in the pig's digestive system can cause serious health problems, including malnutrition and decreased resistance. Regular dewaring helps eliminate parasitic worms and protects pigs from their negative effects. Farm hygiene is not only a daily task, but also an important factor to ensure animal health and environmental protection. In the current context, maintaining a clean environment and maintaining waste is more important than ever. Below, we will learn more about how farms use modern techniques to ensure farm hygiene. One of the effective ways to maintain farm hygiene is to use machinery to help clean up waste. Instead of doing all the work by hand, farms today often equip machines such as excavators and dredgers to collect and process waste efficiently. This saves time and energy while reducing the risk of contaminating the environment. An important part of waste management on a farm is having an outdoor waste disposal system. Advanced farms often build waste treatment systems to reduce negative impacts on the environment. These systems include the use of wastewater treatment systems, organic fertilizer treatment, waste for livestock and agriculture. After being raised and well cared for on farms, pork is transported to the processing plant by specialized vehicles. The transportation process is carried out safely and according to strict regulations. At the processing plant, pork is inspected and graded based on weight, age and quality. This helps ensure that processing takes place efficiently and that a quality meat product is achieved. Before proceeding to the time of the process, the pigs will be anesthetized to ensure that they do not suffer pain and stress. This is done humanly and with strict monitoring to ensure safety and sustainability in the industry. After slaughter, the pork will be thoroughly cleaned to remove blood and impurities. Then the pork is divided into different parts, including lean meat, fatty meat, bones and organs. This process is carried out according to strict hygiene standards. Pork is processed into different products to meet market demand. Products include fresh meat, frozen meat, smoked meat, bacon and canned meat. The process is carried out using modern technologies and in compliance with food safety regulations. 
Finally, pork is packaged to ensure food safety and hygiene to preserve it for a long time. Pork is stored in cold storage at the appropriate temperature to ensure freshness and safety when it reaches consumers. Whole pig farming in Europe has achieved significant achievements. The industry faces a number of challenges going forward. Ever tighter regulations put pressure on pig farms to comply with high standards of animal health, food safety and environmental protection. This increases their operating costs and can affect profits. This production costs are also increasing due to factors such as feed, veterinary medicine and labor costs. Consumers are increasingly placing higher demands on animal welfare and food safety, which possesses no challenges for pig farms. According to the European Union EU, Agricultural Agency, Europe's pork production will reach 27.5 million tons in 2022. Germany as Europe's largest pork producer contributes a large part of the production volume of 6.8 million tons. Next in Spain with 5.5 million tons, France with 4.7 million tons, and Poland with 4.3 million tons. European pork production accounts for about 20% of total world pork production. European pork is exported to many different markets, making an important contribution to Europe's export income. Now, I will take you to a new area to experience even more wonderful things. Let's continue watching. Vano cattle, a breed of cattle originating from Wales, UK, have become a symbol of adaptation to outdoor farming conditions derived from native Welsh cows. They have undergone careful crossbreeding with breeds such as Hereford and Angus to create outstanding and unique characteristics. Banal cattle are selected to develop characteristics that local livestock farmers need, including resistance to harsh weather, the ability to forage in natural environments, and the ability to adapt to rich grassland landscapes. This cross-breeding process not only creates a breed with high survivability, but also retains traditional agricultural and aesthetic characteristics. We cannot stress enough about outdoor farming, where venal cattle are best adapted. The natural environment, with its mild climate and green pastures, is ideal for their growth. Traditional farming methods, free range on grasslands, help them having a comfortable space and a clean environment to make them healthier. Also worth nothing, providing venal cows with a varied and balanced diet is important to ensure they receive all the nutrients they need. Grasses such as alfalfa, rich in protein and fiber, help cows develop muscles and have good digestion. Timothy grass, rich in fiber and carbohydrates, as it provides cows with energy and aids with digestion. 
Cordyceps grass, with its wide range of nutrients, is a versatile option for venal cows to maintain their health. Every day, each adult venal cow consumes about 100 to 150 pounds of grass, depending on factors such as size, age, and activity level. Grass management plays an important role in ensuring they receive enough nutrients. Grass needs to be carefully cared for, with shortcuts keeping clean removing dirt. In addition to grass, supplementing concentrates such as bran, corn, and wheat becomes indispensable to fully meet the nutritional needs of venal cows, especially when they are on the farm. Dietary diversity not only meets the cow's basic needs, but also promotes reproductive development enhances resistance and reduces the risk of health problems. Careful nutritional management is a key to ensuring that any venal herd meets high standards of health and quality, especially when they enter the auction process. This not only increases commercial value, but also contributes to maintaining and developing this rare breed in the long term. For any venal cow care system, adequate and regular water supply plays an important role in maintaining the health and development of the herd. Each farm applies a smart water supply strategy, often placing a drinking water tank right in the pasture. This helps ensure that cows have access to water at all times keeping them hydrated and in good health. Besides providing water, venal cow's nutrition is also given special attention. A highlight is feeding the cow's fruits such as apples, pears, and bananas. Not only does this increase the variety in their diet, but it also provides important nutrients such as vitamins and minerals. Fruits provide different forms of nutrition, helping to ensure nutritional balance and support cow growth. The combination of water supply, nutrient-rich food from fruit, and the natural habitat of the pasture makes venal cattle care comprehensive and effective This not only ensures strong health of cows, but also creates nutritional strengths in meat and milk production. Statistics from the UK Venal Cattle Association show that the total number of venal cattle is about 12,000 by 2023, a modest number compared to other breeds in the UK. Each farm usually only takes care of 10 to 20 cows of their rarity and high value. What distinguishes venal cattle is their ability to adapt to harsh breeding environments, high fertility from 2 to 3 years of age, and excellent milk and meat production. The milk of venal cows is highly appreciated for its quality, while the meat has a delicious and rich flavor, conquering even the most demanding culinary chef. Venal cows with pure black fur are considered purebred and have higher value 
then veil cast with other coat colors. In previous centuries, banal cows had pure black fur, accounting for about 90%, which was about 10,800 cows. The number of banal cows in the world is gradually decreasing now, so banal cows with pure black fur are also becoming increasingly rare. Day by day, banal bull auctions in the UK are usually held in the spring and autumn. Spring is a good time to sell banal cows and fall in an ideal time to sell mature banal cows because they are capable of producing milk or meat. Attendees at UK banal cattle auctions typically include ranchers, professional livestock breeders, and investors. They travel from many parts of the world in search of high-quality banal cattle. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. So since we don't really have any clue of what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos.